Father God, we praise you so much for your your grace and your sovereignty, God. Just bringing Corey and Nicole to this point in life, God. God, we just ask today that Corey and Nicole can just uh, capture every moment in their mind. God, savor it, God, as it does resemble your love for your church. God, I pray that you just give both Corey and Nicole the diligence to daily lay their lives down to each other and then ultimately in reverence for you, Father. We thank you so much for your son's death and resurrection, God. I pray that that, that alone just compel them to extend grace to each other constantly, to be a man and woman who bring everything to the cross, Father. We ask that you use their marriage just to be the ultimate example. God, we ask that today honor you in your name alone, Father. We love you and we praise you so much. It's in your son's name. Days like this remind us that we serve a loving father who gives good gifts to his children. So today we celebrate the gift of marriage, the blessing that you two are to each other, you are to all of us, and that your relationship will be to many. God, we thank you that in your sovereign care, you have watched over Corey and Nicole and brought them to this point. Thank you that your spirit has revealed this marriage as your plan for them. We thank you that you have spoken so clearly to them. You have led them, protected them, provided for them. We ask that your spirit would be evident to them, be evident to all of us, as two lives become one. Matt, who gives this moment be married to this man. Good night or not. This is the start of something beautiful. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 19, verses 4 through 6, At the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and He said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. The two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two, but one. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. I pray that you hope to be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. It's your wife. It's my privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Corey Connor. You kind of wonder when your brother's getting married, who's getting married. Growing up, Corey and I were pretty close. I would say closer than most brothers get to be. Of course, you talk about girls. Uh, that's something that always comes up. And again, you know, how do you know? How do you know if she's the one? And, and what are you looking for? Uh, but a wise man once told me that when you know, you know. And if you don't know, well, then you know. And so I think for Corey and Nicole, by the way their affection toward each other, by the way they speak to each other, that it's obvious that they know. And I think that everybody else in this room knows that they know. Uh, it's very apparent. To Corey, congratulations. I don't know how you persuaded her, but you did. And to Nicole, Thank you for saying yes to Corey to make him one of the happiest and luckiest men in the world. May God's grace shine upon you in your marriage. God, we thank you for Corey and Nicole. We thank you for their lives that are evidence of your grace and mercy extended to all of us. And Lord, as they begin this new season of marriage, our prayer is that you will bless them, that they will continually surrender to you and find their hearts being drawn closer to you each day and to one another. We pray that the bond you are creating will be strong and exclusive. We pray that it will last for a lifetime and be a blessing to many. We ask that you would bless them with wisdom, with peace, and with grace as they navigate this wonderful blessing you are giving them today. We pray it in the strong name of our resurrected Savior. Amen.